I think we all love the idea of having less chores to do and more free time. And robot vacuums really have come of age over the years with all kinds of capabilities to clean our houses, get into corners, mop, and even clean themselves. But not every house is the same with all kinds of different floor types and carpets and things for your robot vac to navigate around. And you want the assurances that your robot vacuum can get the job done. So I have Roborock's new Q Revo Edge here. Now this is designed for hassle-free cleaning for all different types of floors. And it has this really cool new technology which I'm pretty excited about that I'm gonna show you along with its other features. So let's go take a look. Okay, so in the box you get both the robot vacuum and its multifunction dock 3.0. So if you don't know what that does, this basically is where you have both clean and dirty water for the mop, as well as a dustbin. So what happens is the robot vacuum, when it's done cleaning, it returns here and this station takes care of emptying the dust as well as changing the mop water. In terms of height, this is about 521 millimeters high, 487 wide and 340 deep. So it's pretty compact and you can fit it under sort of some shelves or under a desk like I do. Also, it comes in this nice sort of modern white color with some silver accents here. So it's quite attractive and it should fit into your home nicely. So the multifunction dock is the heart of the whole system. So this is version three and it has a few features not found in the older versions. One is that it has 75 degree hot water mop cleaning. So that means that it uses really hot water when the robot vac comes back to clean off those mop pads. So the benefit of really hot water is that it will dissolve oily stains much better so the mop pads get cleaner, plus it will kill about 99.9% .9 of bacteria as well. So that means that the mop pad doesn't smell and it's nice and clean when it goes back out and does some cleaning. Speaking of dirty mop water, this has something called intelligent dirt detection, which analyzes how dirty the mop water is, and then it will either re-clean the mop pads, maybe to get rid of those buttery, oily stains, or it'll actually send the robot vac back out to the dirty area and clean that again to make sure that it's all cleaned up and then it'll come back and of course clean off those mop pads. Another fantastic feature about the Multifunction Dock 3.0 is that it can actually clean itself. Now in the past you'd have to occasionally clean out sort of this area here under the mops because it does accumulate some grit and some dirt. However, now it has these little windshield wiper sort of blades that actually clean out these areas and it also uses the same 75 degree hot water. So the net result is you don't actually have to clean it yourself, meaning this is more hands-free than ever and that is always a good thing. So you probably had the same experience as me of having to untangle hair from your vacuum cleaner. It's just awful, you have to unwind it. Well, hair really does create some problems for devices like robot vacuums. However, the Q Revo Edge actually has two technologies that 100% eliminate hair tangling, and that's actually been independently tested. So let me show you how it works. So first off, underneath the robot vacuum here, there's two areas where hair can get tangled. One is around the main brush here, and the other one is around this little sweeper here that actually puts dirt towards the main brush. So starting with the main brush, this is called a duo divide brush, and the reason why is because it's actually divided into two sections. Also, it has these sort of blades on it that are designed to channel hair towards the center when they're spinning really quickly. And then once it reaches the center, there's a gap or a channel there between the two separate brushes. And with the powerful suction from the robot vacuum, it just sucks the hair straight through. So the idea is, is that it doesn't get wrapped around these separate brushes and it can go right up the gap in the middle. Okay, so next we have the Flexi Arm Arc Side Brush. So they say less is more, and that's definitely the case with this design. So instead of using three bristles, this is now just two, and they have this asymmetrical placement, which means that when they spin around, they're kind of, they flick the hair away rather than having a, sort of a more balanced design, which allows the hairs to cling on and then get wrapped around the sort of the center part here. There's also a barrier that stops hair from moving upwards, and these are longer bristles, meaning they can reach out and clean more as well. So this is really clever, and it's also certified to provide 100% anti-tangling. Okay, so when it comes to cleaning your house, there's a bunch of technologies that work together to make the Roborock Q Revo Edge a really capable cleaning system. And this is of course, not just vacuuming, but mopping as well. Okay, so let's start with suction, because suction power is very important. 
And there was this misconception that these small little units just don't have very much suction power, but that's absolutely not true with this. This has 18,500 PAs or Pascal units of suction, and that is the industry leading suction power out of any robot vacuum. So it really does have the ability to lift dust and hair and dirt and small particles up from carpets and hard floors right up into that roller brush and into the system. So I was watching a documentary the other day about ancient Egypt and I noticed in the shot of the Pharaoh's chamber in a big pyramid that there was actually some dust and it looked like hair and dirt in the corner of the room. So this is obviously an age old problem. So the Q-Revo Edge actually has flexi arm technology to manage this. And what it does is, is that the brush head is on an extending arm that moves away from the body of the robot vacuum to get into corners and along edges. And the same is also present for the mop brush. So the spinning mop brush actually can extend outwards, allowing the robot vacuum to clean in those hard to reach corners. So you can see here that the Q-Revo Edge goes right along the edge with the Flexi Arm brush, getting all of the dust swept towards the center of the robot vacuum. And here in the corners, you can see it cleaning as well as the mop head, which is extended outwards the way it maneuvers the robot vacuum into the corners. So mopping in the corners isn't 100% perfect, but it is a really good attempt at getting in there. Flexi Arm technology is also great for getting up close for cleaning around table and chair legs. So here in the studio, we have mostly hardwood floors and some carpets, and I really love the mopping technology because it just makes my floor shine. So the way it works is that there are two spinning mop heads. Now these spin at 200 RPMs, which is usually a bit higher than most other brands, and it exerts pressure on the floor as they're spinning. So this is really good at cleaning up, say, dried on sticky stains like a bit of soft drink or maybe some Nutella or butter that's sort of dropped on the kitchen floor. Also, there are 30 different water flow levels for the mops. So that means that using the app, you can adjust how much water it uses because sometimes you might actually want to use more water to kind of clean things or sometimes you want to keep it dry. Now, these mop heads and even the brushes themselves can retract up into the actual robot vacuum uh, by 10 millimeters. So that means that when it goes and cleans carpets, it can raise them out of the way to navigate the carpet as well as not putting a wet mop onto your carpet. Keep in mind that the Q-Revo Edge will both vacuum and mop at the same time, making for a really efficient clean, or you can set it to just vacuum or just mop if you want to. Now, I like mine to do both, but occasionally I like to just do one vacuuming pass or even one mopping pass if I've made a big mess in the kitchen. Now, all of this can be set and controlled using the app, or there's even an automatic setting that figures it all out for you, depending on dirty areas in your house, as well as what is learned about cleaning them. Now, I'm often asked whether you need to put detergent into the, the mop water, um, and the answer is yes, you can. Um, you can buy a special detergent from Roborock, but in my experience, I mean, we don't have a lot of kids in the studio. Uh, I don't use any cleaning solution because when it actually starts the mopping job, the mop heads are already cleaned thanks to that 75 degree hot water and hot air, and then when it goes back, it does a thorough job of cleaning them again. So these are getting smarter all the time and the Q-Revo Edge actually uses reactive AI as well as a RGB camera and structured light from the sensor here to figure out where it is in your home as well as understand the shapes of your room. Now also it can recognize up to 62 different common objects and figure out how to avoid them. So for example, it might recognize a cable or a shoe or a slipper or even a pet and plan paths around accordingly. So it generates a map and you can see this and edit it in the Roborock app. You can also set areas where you don't want it to clean or you can name different rooms and then you can do room-based cleaning if you want to do it that way or have it clean the whole house. The sensors have the ability to see during day or nighttime so you can you know, get that nighttime cleaning done and it can even recognize and avoid uh, what I'd like to call unwanted pet deposits. So the RGB camera can do other cool things as well. It can be your eyes and ears when you're away from home so you can remotely see what the camera sees, even control it so it can drive around your house so you can maybe check out an area that you're wondering about, maybe did you leave the window open, or you can even send it out to automatically look for your pets and even take a few pictures of them as well. How cool is that? 
Well, our four-legged furry friends are just as much a part of the family. And with Roborock's Q-Revo Edge, they have some really cool pet features. First off, the vacuum itself isn't very noisy, but there's a special low noise mode, which goes down to 55 decibels. I think it actually shuts off the main brush and just does the mopping. Uh, also, there's the mode where it'll actually recognize puppies and kittens and then plan a path around them as well as reducing the main brush noise. And this is to prevent frightening them but I think this might be a bit of a buzzkill. <laughs> okay, here's a technology that I really wanted to show you. So the Q Revo Edge has something called an adapt lift chassis. So this is a way to give it a better ability to get around the house and over objects and different height carpeting uh, in order to make sure that your house is nice and clean. So there's nothing worse than when you come home and your robot vacuum has been stuck somewhere and it hasn't cleaned the house. Well, this avoids all of that. This is also not available in any other robot vacuum right now. Okay, so here's how it works. So it has three independently adjustable wheels. So there's the, the left and right one, and then the Omni wheel here. So it can raise these by about 10 millimeters. And it can even say raise one on one side and lower one on the other, and that will actually tilt the unit so it can get around or over objects. So this is really useful in your home, uh, especially when you have things like a threshold. So a threshold might be a, a raised edge where the robot vacuum has to get over it. So now it can actually tilt itself backwards by lowering the Omni wheel and raising the left and right wheel and actually get a run at the object that it's trying to get over. So it can negotiate thresholds around three centimeters high, but if there are two stage threshold, like a little step, it can actually get over things four centimeters high. So it's not climbing stairs yet, but this is really useful to get over certain areas of your house that older robot vacuums just couldn't manage. So next, the OmniLift chassis is handy at vacuuming mid to high pile carpets. It does this because it can actually raise itself up high enough to then allow that 18,500 PAs of suction to really, really get in and clean dirt and suck it up. So if you didn't have this ability to raise up, it would just get caught on all of the fibers and it wouldn't even be able to negotiate over these high pile carpets. So this is a really great option for homes that have carpets like this. And last, the Adapt Lift chassis is great for houses that have sled leg designed table and chair legs. So that's where the actual leg runs along the carpet. I have a few in my studio and it's really great now that I don't have to worry about my robot vacuum getting stuck on these because it has plenty of clearance to get up and over and negotiate them and also give those areas a proper cleaning. Well, that Adapt Lift feature is really cool. I mean, I've used it to clean my studio and what's so great about it is that it really helps get over different surfaces in your homes and it's far more versatile than any other robot vacuum that I've seen so far. So you add that to the edge cleaning, to the mopping, and to a base station that pretty much keeps your hands free altogether, plus super powerful 18,500 PA suction. This really is a great all-in-one solution for all kinds of different places. And the best part is there's never any argument about whose turn it is to do the vacuuming or mopping. It's always Roborocks.